Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, whose teaching is life, whose presence is sure, and whose love is endless. Amen. Let us confess our sins to the one who welcomes us with an open heart. God, our comforter, like lost sheep we have gone astray. We gaze upon abundance and see scarcity. We turn our faces away from injustice and oppression. We exploit the earth with our apathy and greed. Free us from our sin, gracious God. Listen when we call out to you for help. Lead us by your love to love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. By the gift of grace in Christ Jesus, God makes you righteous. Receive with glad, with glad hearts the forgiveness of all of your sins. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. You 
another God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. You were God alone from before time began. You were on your throne. You were God alone. And right now, in the good times and the bad, you were on your throne. You were God alone. You were unchangeable. You were unshakable. You're unstoppable, that's what you are. You're unchangeable, you're unshakable, you're unstoppable, that's what you are. You're the only God whose power none can contend. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God. That's just the way it is. You are God alone from before time began. You were on your throne. You were God alone And right now In the good times and the bad You were on your throne You were God alone You were unchangeable You were unshakable You were unstoppable That's what you are You were unchangeable you're unshakable, you're unstoppable, that's what you are. You are God alone, and before time began, you were on your throne. You were God alone, and right now, in the good times and the bad, you were on your throne You were God alone And right now In the good times and the bad You were on your throne You were God alone Let us pray. Almighty God, your sovereign purpose brings salvation to birth. Give us faith to be steadfast amid the tumults of this world, trusting that your kingdom comes and your will is done. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The first reading is from Daniel. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish such as never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. The Word of the Lord. Psalm 16 Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is in the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. I will not pour out drink offerings to such gods, never take their names upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a rich inheritance. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. 
I have set the Lord always before me. Because God is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. The second reading is from Hebrews. Every priest stands day after day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also testifies to us, for after saying, This is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. He also adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. The Word of the Lord. Word of God, speak, would you pour down that rain, washing my eyes to see your majesty to be still and know that you're in this place. Please let me stay and rest. In your holiness, word of God, speak. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, the 13th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what large stones and what large buildings? Then Jesus asked him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign that all these things are about to be accomplished? Then Jesus began to say to them, Beware that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name and say, I am he, and they will lead many astray. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is still to come. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. This is but the beginning of the birth pangs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive God's blessing. The blessing of God who provides for us, feeds us, and journeys with us be upon you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. You are the body of Christ. Thanks be to God. It seems like all I could see was the struggle haunted by ghosts that live in my past. Bound up in shackles of all of my failures I'm wondering how long is this going to last And you look at this prisoner Say to me, son, stop fighting a fight That's already been won Him redeemed, you set me free. So I'll shake off these heavy chains, wipe away every stain. I'm not who I used to be. I am redeemed. My life I've been called unworthy Named by the voice of my shame and regret But when I hear you whisper, child, lift up your head Remember, oh God, you're not done with me yet I am redeemed, you set me free, so I shake off these heavy chains, wipe away every stain, I'm not who I used to be, I am redeemed. Cause I, I don't have to be the old man inside of me His day is long dead and gone Because I got a new name, a new life I'm not the same hope that will carry me home I am redeemed You set me free So I'll shake off these heavy chains wipe away every stain I'm not who I used to be I'm redeemed You set me free Yes, I'll shake off these heavy chains Wipe away every stain Cause I'm not who I used to be I am redeemed Oh, 
Oh God, I'm not who I used to be. Jesus, I'm not who I used to be. I'm redeemed. Thank God, redeemed. 